Mark has talked about some of the highlights and successes. Rachel, can you tell me about some of the challenges? Well, the most significant challenge for us is the ongoing high levels of HIV diagnosis here in Aotearoa. That's a major concern. It's a major focus for our organisation. And I believe we've had some breakthroughs in this year and you'll be seeing some of that implemented, I think, in the coming year. Another challenge for us was the recent criminal prosecution. And that drew attention to the high levels of HIV in New Zealand. A lot of media attention gave us the opportunity to remind New Zealanders that the best way to prevent HIV transmission is condom and lube. And it gave us another challenge to ensure that stigma and discrimination did, was not something that, flew on, uh, that flowed on from this um, criminal prosecution. And it's really important that people living with HIV do not feel in any way um, discriminated against as a result of this prosecution. So Rachel and Mark, we're nearing the end of the strategic plan for 2005 to 2010. Can you tell me what's happening next? What I'm looking forward to is having a draft of this plan in place, mm -hmm. I hope by the time people are, are viewing this, mm -hmm. and, and then engaging with the community mm -hmm. around the kinds of things that they feel are important as well, so that we can have a fully consultative process. One of the things that we need to be really clear about is that the strategic plan isn't sort of an idealistic sort of pie-in-the-sky document. Mm. It actually shapes the, mm. the, the, the programmatic functions, the budgets, the plans of the whole organization. And it's something that is it, that looks forward to the next five years mm. and attempts to I think the word we're using is horizon scan, mm -hmm. so, that, so that we can anticipate what's coming and get out in front of this virus rather than continually chasing after it. And I think, I think the exciting opportunity is to listen to our community, to mm -hmm. our, most importantly, our members, to hear their views. After all, many of them are actually within the very communities most at risk, um, but also to make sure that we're conveying the evidence, why we've come to some of these decisions. And I think the important thing is recognising that whilst we're very engaged with our community, we've got to be led by that research and led by the evidence. The New Zealand AIDS Foundation has a vision of a world without AIDS and aims to achieve this by preventing the transmission of HIV and supporting people affected by HIV and AIDS to maximise their health and wellbeing. For more information on this, visit nzaf.org.nz. For the New Zealand AIDS Foundation, I'm Jonathan Milne. Thanks for watching. Música